Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Gordon Frayne. We are back with another video. Today we're talking about BitTenter Tau and Subnet93 BitCast. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below this video. Make sure to grab that as well. And let's talk about BitCast. So just before we look at BitCast, looking at the price of Tau, we're back above the 200 day simple moving average, currently sitting at a price around $430 per token. Obviously, we've seen the market making a nice big move in the past couple of weeks and even the past 48 hours with Bitcoin getting back above $100,000, BitTensor Tau and the Tau token getting back above $430. And what I really want to hone in on on today's video is the potential for you to actually leverage subnets within the Tau ecosystem to generate income and shed some light on what BitCast is is actually doing. If you're not familiar with subnets within the Tau ecosystem, again, you have all of these individual subnets which act as individual businesses on the Tau network that are creating valuable information that feeds the overarching Tau network and different subnets get rewarded and the miners on those respective subnets get rewarded based on how valuable that information is that they're providing to the overall network. So like I said, we're talking about BitCast subnet 93 in today's video, which is a subnet focused on marketing and at least initially the promotion of the Tau blockchain and helping to spread the good word about Tau to increase adoption and take BitTensor to the next level. Okay, if I jump over here very, very quickly, just to kind of explain with a bit of a visual how BitCast works, you've got content creators on the BitCast network and the BitCast subnet essentially competing for crypto rewards. So you have BitCast as the subnet and you've got all these individual miners and these miners on the BitCast subnet are actually the content creators. And so I'm going to use the YouTube graphic here because each of these individual content creators on YouTube, for example, are creating content just like this video you're watching right now and competing to earn rewards in the form of BitCast's subnet alpha token. Okay, so the miners on the BitCast subnet are actually YouTubers making videos just like this video competing for rewards and trying to create the most valuable information based on content briefs that BitTensor, sorry, that BitCast actually put out and create on a weekly basis, okay? So this decentralized technology is powered by BitTensor Tau and the overarching network, BitCast acting as one of those individual subnets on the Tau ecosystem and all of these miners, AKA creators, competing to create the most valuable content to promote Tau. And obviously from, a, from an AI standpoint, you can think about how promoting and getting more adoption of the Tau network is obviously very valuable for not just BitCast, but for the Tau blockchain as a whole. And so the incentive alignment with promoting and getting more adoption of the Tau network aligns very nicely with the goals of the BitCast subnet and they are creating further incentives for creators and videos just like this one to promote Tau because the incentive mechanism is built in to earn rewards with the mining of the subnet alpha token. Okay, I hope this is all making sense, guys. If there is questions, please do make sure to drop them in the comments below. Okay, but essentially, the creators are the miners creating content, competing for those uh, subnet alpha token rewards. And if we look at just what's happening here on a on a literal level, this video itself, the transcript of the video and the description of the video and everything I'm talking about here is actually getting evaluated by validators on the network. And if we look at what's happening again, just on a practical level, this video is obviously, um, you know, you're watching it here on YouTube right now. I have uh, and the team from BitCast helped me set up an AWS cloud miner on the Tau blockchain, which is essentially able to um, decrypt and analyze everything that I'm talking about in this video. And then the validators are analyzing the video content and giving me essentially like a score based on the average watch time and engagement of this exact video. And then 
I will get paid out a certain amount of rewards in the form of the BitCast subnet alpha token, depending on how valuable this content is based on average watch time, based on engagement. So as a reminder, guys, please definitely drop a thumbs up on this video below if you're enjoying the content, if it's informative, and if you're getting any value. So again, the competitive nature of what's happening in the Tau blockchain also permeates down to a subnet level. So on an individual subnet basis, you have all those subnets competing to provide the most valuable information to the overall Tau network. And then within each subnet, you've obviously got individual miners who are competing against one another to create and produce the most valuable information for that specific subnet. So I'm acting as one of the miners on the BitCast subnet 93 and I'm trying to provide valuable information to fulfill or at least satisfy the brief that BitCast have provided for this specific topic on this specific week. So I hope this is making sense. I hope this is starting to click, but I think it's super interesting to think about how the incentive mechanisms are aligning here. And essentially, the question that this poses in my head is, ultimately, what happens when artificial intelligence networks are able to leverage and incentivize human capital in order to grow and get adoption. And essentially that's what's happening here with Tau. The incentive mechanisms and the incentive alignment with the Tau network as a whole permeating down into subnet 93 and the use case that they're honing in on for marketing and promotion of Tau and other protocols and projects eventually um, is creating such an alignment of incentives that it naturally makes sense for people to continue to adopt these different subnets, using them, uh, producing valuable information, which will ultimately grow the overall Tau blockchain. So you can come over to bitcast.network yourself to check out everything that Bitcast are doing in terms of marketing. You can see the ability for essentially, you know, content creators to produce this type of content. But the other side of it is for brands, okay, for brands that actually want to get more people discussing their products, their projects, and their protocols in the crypto space, for example, they can use subnet 93 and BitCast and the incentive mechanism to help find creators that will produce high quality, valuable information about their projects and protocols. This is a very quick and efficient way and a very scalable way for those brands to get high quality content from creators with very aligned incentives. So again, you can see amplify your marketing budget, they have the ability to tap into creators that will actually continue to help scale their brand. And they can get very um, interesting AI powered analytics with all of this uh, content and information essentially happening on chain. That is the beauty of this world we're moving into with uh, BitTenter Tau, artificial intelligence and blockchain technology, the combination of all of those elements, meaning that we're going to have very powerful um, analytics to dive into. And there's no gaming or cheating the system, you have all of this information being validated by the validators on the network, given a score depending on the brief, and then miners being rewarded for all of their efforts. So I hope this video is making sense. I wanted to give a very uh, high level introduction to BitCast subnet 93 on the BitTensor Tau blockchain. Lots of interesting stuff going on here from a marketing perspective, from a subnet perspective with the alignment of incentives. I know I'm repeating that over and over again, but I think it's phenomenal what they're doing here. Check it out for yourself over at bitcast.network. I will leave a link for BitCast in the description of this video. And again, if you got any value out of today's video, guys, please make sure to give it a thumbs up before you jump out the door. Again, there is um, a whole lot of adoption happening at the moment. We're seeing markets moving. I think we're going to see this AI narrative continue to permeate um, not just the crypto space, but the business cycle in general. And like I said earlier, the initial goal of BitCast is to raise awareness of the BitTensor ecosystem and push BitTensor to the next level of adoption. I think more retail investors coming into the space are going to pick up on this over the coming months and content just like this video are helping to get more adoption. So if you are interested in checking out BitTensor and checking out BitCast, use the link in the description below this video. Again, lots of exciting stuff happening. I personally met with the team over at BitCast over the past week or two, very genuine people, um, lots of exciting stuff happening there. 
Um, so Will and Tom making some pretty good moves with the overall business, and I'm excited to see what's happening next and for upcoming briefs on the BitCast network. That's it for today's video, guys. If you got any value, please hit that thumbs up button. Like I said, it really helps with the algorithm. It helps to spread the good word. And I'm kind of running this as an experiment to see the incentives that happen when we actually get results from the miner and I can definitely report back on those results and how that's working over the next couple of weeks. So drop a thumbs up on the video, share it with a friend, hit subscribe if you got um, value out of it. Again, you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description of the video as well. Make sure to grab that below and we'll catch you in the next one.